he started drinking and he pissed in his own mouth. Like mid episode, he just Wait. started doing it to, <laughs> to freak the guest out. Are you with me? It's Sophia Franklin. You are listening to Sophia with an F and the F is for phenomenal. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Sophia with an F. My name is Maddie. Nobody knows me here yet, but I am Sophia's assistant. And we're taking over right now for Sophia's lateness right now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm Yo, Jeff. I'll do my Jeff. own introduction. Um, Perfect. I'm from New York. Uh, I live in LA. I'm a, I'm a YouTuber, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm a, you know, I, YouTuber. I, yeah, yeah, and um, Sophia's late right now. Are you nervous? Yeah. To host her show, are you thinking you're gonna, you're gonna get fired for this? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not gonna get fired. She said she likes my go getter attitude. So I watched like four episodes in in the Uber on the way over here. Uh -huh. It seems like a fun show to <laughs> yeah. do. You know, no, like, it's fun. Usually we got the white claws in there, so usually we will have some. I'm trying not to drink right now because I just had my 25th birthday. Wow, happy three birthday. Three days ago, thank you. But I went way Damn, too hard. you turned 25 three days ago? Yeah. Do you have On the same the birthday as Tana? Yeah. No, that's that's nuts because I just got I yelled know. at because I didn't wish her a happy birthday. Like, I did. I texted yeah. her in real life. Mm -hmm. But I got, like, this like this screenshot of this message from a fan that, like, she sent. Mm -hmm. And I was getting scolded for not posting Damn. for her birthday. So I know that I posted yesterday. That was two days after her birthday. Yep. Okay, so... I feel like this is a really good idea that I've been telling Sophia that she needs to hop on. Mm -hmm. No influencers or creators are collaborating with vape companies to make a flavor for their audience. That might be illegal. You think I, so? Yeah, because I think now you're, um, it's tricky when you're marketing nicotine and okay. like nicotine products because I think like now you got kids involved and stuff. And yeah. Then your okay, videos will probably fair. get all age restricted and stuff. <laughs> I don't mean to shut down your idea. It might work. Fair. I, I mean, you should try it. I should You'd because be her one. audience is a slut, and I was like, you should have a flavor called Slooty Pebbles. Yeah. All right. This episode sponsored by Newport this, Cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you guys have the? <laughs> I want her to bust in and be pissed off. You know? She won't be. She won't be. We're cool. We're cool. I'm gonna ask you a real Sophia question. Um, I feel like she always asks this. What's your opinion on paying for things if you are in a relationship? Do you pay for everything? Yeah. You pay for everything? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. But not like not like anything like crazy. You not know? like you're not like paying the rent, the car payment. No. I mean, if they if we live together, yeah, obviously I would pay the whole yeah. rent. Um but I want a girl that has stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, know? yeah. You don't want yeah. Someone just sitting around. If she was like a stay-at-home mom and she was like raising mm -hmm. her kid or if we had a kid together, yeah. obviously you don't pay for everything. But um, no, I don't know. I I have friends that I see like they get these girls that they're buying like surgeries and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. And I'm just like, why are you even doing that? Yeah. You know, you're like, yeah. you found this girl and then you like fall in love with them for them and then you got to change and them. And then you're know, like, let me buy you a whole new body. Yeah. It's How like, does that even what? come up in a conversation? Like if a girl wants to get a I don't job know. or something, does the guy suggest it or the girl says she wants it? And the guy's like, yeah, as a matter of fact, yeah. you do need it. I'm going to pay for it. That no, I would be so, no, if I was in a relationship and somebody was saying like, oh yeah, you would look so much better. Like with that, even if I was just like fishing and I was like, oh, I kind of would like to get this done or whatever. Yeah. And they were so on board. I would be so offended. Right. Like, well, never mind. Big never mind. Fuck you. I don't want to do it anyway. Yeah. So. As a matter of fact, fuck that. And yeah. Fuck you too. Absolutely not. That's not happening. Hey. Oh my hey, God. We, we started the podcast. Yeah. We started it. I hope, I hope you're not mad. She's she's killing it. By the Thank way. you. Yeah, she's in the Thank you. Really I was a little question. nervous. I knew Maddie was gonna do this to me one day. Hi, and Curtis Steele gave me. Hi. I will give you your seat back. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Thank you, Sloots. Wow. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll pick up. We oh, literally. We're going. Yeah, we're going. So we um. Hi, everybody. No, no. <laughs> First of all, welcome to the show, everybody who's listening. Subscribe if you haven't already, because you're going to want to see this hot piece of ass that's next to me. Jeff Wittick, Jeff with two Fs. Jeff with two Three if you do Jeff FM. Too many Jeff Fs. Jeff FM. That's your podcast, Jeff yeah. FM. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about your podcast? Can we just like, I want to rip the Band-Aid off. So you had Mike on. Oh, 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 I know where you're going with this. Where, where am I going? 
Mike said on the show, I, I guess you texted him mid episode and he's like, oh, that's Sophia with an F. She's trying to bang me or something. He said something cheesy, stupid, like douchebag shit like that. And my editors only bleeped the Sophia part. So he, you heard with an <laughs> F and then everybody in the comments were like, oh, we know, we know. He's like, yeah, obviously, you know, who else's name ends with with an F? That, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, why even the pretend to bleep out my name? Well, we do shit like that because we like be just funny. fucking fucking around. But I didn't I didn't review that episode. I was going through a lot last week. OK, we had a big falling out. I ended up firing my whole crew Then I brought back, uh, brought them all back. And <laughs> I came out here to do a show. I've been here filming for the past week. We mm -hmm. did like 13 episodes in one week. We crammed them all in. And the crew that they gave me, this production, they gave me lookalikes of my crew. So, Are you fucking with me? No, I, I, I thought they were fucking with me. It was an accident, they said. But now I'm with like literally doppelgangers of every one of my crew members. I'm calling them by my crew members' names. And they didn't know what I was filming out here. So it looked like I was filming a movie on my own life. And they, <laughs> they got replaced. And when you say crew, what do you mean your, your crew? Well, I got like a, uh, I guess you call like a posse, mm. you know, or mm -hmm. like a gang um, of like, hoodlums, guys that are up to trouble. Uh, they, we didn't really go to school for any of this stuff. You mm -hmm. know, like my guys didn't go to film school, but you know, they learned everything from watching YouTube or me yelling at them, just drilling it into their heads. You seem like a crazy person to work for. I'm a, I'm a crazy person. I mean, you just said I fired every single person. Okay. Put yourself in my shoes. What were they doing? Say you have your dream. Who's your dream guest? Let's just say you don't have to think that hard as a random one that comes off the top of your head. Marilyn Monroe. Oh, good. That's great. She's not alive. Yeah, yeah. If she was. Even better. Even better for right? this analogy. That would, be, that would be crazier. Even better for this analogy. Yeah. So you do an episode with her. How do you feel after you do episodes? Do you feel like, oh, that one was the best one I ever did usually? Or you're like, that one sucked, but it turns out good? Yeah. I'm more the latter. Yeah. I'm like very hard on myself, I feel like. Same. Same. Mm -hmm. So this one went perfect. It was great. It was my favorite one ever. One of the guys yanked the hard drive out. It all <gasps> got lost, corrupted, nothing to show for it. And it was with like one of my dream guests. I'm getting made fun of for like talking about it so much, but the guy is the voice of the UFC, is the announcer. He has a crazy story with his brother who they got separated at birth. And the other guy becomes the voice of boxing. It's insane. Like it's a crazy story. Lost everything, flipped out, lost my mind. I was like, I'm done podcasting. And then like a week goes by. I'm like, all right, I got a bunch of shit to talk about. I want to podcast again. And then, <laughs> Wait, so, you, so you're going to quit podcasting altogether? Yeah. Did you throw something at him? Like how did you no, handle it? No, 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 no. I used to be a hothead like that, but now I'm very good at controlling my emotions. I, I believe, you know, yeah. I, I have different ways to do stuff now. Like I said, I don't drink anymore. I just did a cold plunge. I've been dying to say that. I, I had to say, <laughs> oh if you do a cold God. plunge and you're an influencer, you got to fucking say that shit, you know? I was going to explode right now. But let's backtrack a little bit. So, so to Mike. When you texted Mike, were you trying to... Date him? I think he said more... Uh, I mean... Maybe I think we, maybe he said date. Up. He said, uh, Sophia the Neff, which you did not bleep out... And then we bleep Sophia. Maybe it's another person with an F, and now you're the one coming on here saying that it was you. Okay, so. anything that says with an F is obviously going to be me. But he didn't say trying to fuck. He said, "I think she wants to date me, bro." Are you sure? Someone, someone should pull it up because. But regardless, like fucking dating, it's the same shit. Okay, what were you, were you trying to do? Either of those? No, I was trying to hang out. And I asked him if he had a girlfriend because I would consider Mike and I friends. If a, one of your, Tana, for example, mm -hmm. if she asked you if you have a girlfriend, does that mean in a weird way she's trying to fuck you or date yeah. you? Why? <laughs> why, <laughs> why, why does it matter? <laughs> Are you going to hook him up with one of your friends? Is that what you're looking to do? Wait, now that I'm like really thinking about this, I could see how it would come off that way. But the only reason I was asking is because I was trying to be respectful. But the only reason I was texting him is because I was going to ask him to record. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I don't know why he would. I guess me asking me as a girlfriend means I'm trying to fuck. So, you know, to people listening, if you ask a dude if he has a girlfriend, that basically they're going to interpret that as you're trying to bang them. Or date them. 
I guess, or maybe he's just got a, he's got a huge ego. That's what I was gonna ask you. He as does someone have that too. who as someone who really knows the ins and outs. Yeah, he does have that too. So it could be I don't know, would you but do Would you, I? Do, Are you asking if I would fuck him? He's tried to. Oh, so now the tables have turned. Yeah. Now you're on a podcast saying that he's trying to. Mm-hmm. Except my shit is like valid evidence has tried to hook up with me. Oh, yeah. In a very respectful no, manner. No, I, 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 I believe it. Trust me. I've been around him. <laughs> Mike does well for himself. But I, I don't know if that makes him happy. You know, yeah. I think even after some of his biggest stunts that he's pulled, let's just call it that. <laughs> I, he'll usually call me the next day and he's just lost. He's like, what now? You know, cause there's no like good fulfilling feeling that comes from just like a hookup, you know? Yeah. And I think he's now realizing that at his, at his um, early age of 48 years old, whatever the fuck he is. Wait, how old is he? Just he's 52. Off. Yeah. He, <laughs> no, no, he's, uh, he's under 40. No, he's definitely 40 or older. Uh, no, for he's, sure. he's 38. We, can someone Google fact check this? He's and probably also- paying somebody <laughs> off for that shit. I wouldn't even believe that. What does he have, famous birthdays? He's definitely not on Wikipedia. <laughs> for what, being Logan Paul's friend? They don't give you a wiki page for that? Well, yeah. Does he say, yeah. I'm trying to fuck or date? <laughs> and then I think he's something really insulting after. No, did he? Oh, man. No, maybe not. We'll hear it. Oh, no. It was your show, Jeff. You let it slide. You didn't I just cut record it out. so many things I don't remember anymore. You know, do you remember everything? Derogatory. She got a text from Logan? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. What, what's going on with her? Yeah, she, I think she wants to date me. Bro. Oh. I've been aging fucking fast, bro. Wait, yeah, what? It seems like there was a cut there. I'm so- Maybe there was something that was said after that that was removed. I don't. Okay, that actually makes me feel better because he goes from saying, um, "I think she wants to date me, bro," directly to, "I am aging so fast, like I'm getting old." So then I thought it had something to do with me being old, like How oh, old like are these you? old. I'm thirty. Oh, wow. You, I thought you were younger than 30, but 30 is not Thank old. Thank you. No, it's not. But I mean, for women, it's a little bit different. But I hope there was a cut there. So tell us. Yeah, tell us what couldn't make it. No, I think he looked at the phone and he just saw his own reflection. And he was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, you ever see Black Mirror? You know that that's why they call it that? Because it's a Black Mirror, your phone oh. screen. So maybe he looked into the Black Mirror and he was like, he saw your text. And then he was like, I'm too old for her. That's how he maybe... <laughs> Meant it. Yeah, I'm sure that's what happened. I, I've heard um, through mutual friends, though, that Mike isn't feeling very fulfilled in his relationships with women. Yeah. this is. Are we giving him too much airtime, Mike Malak? Uh, yeah, because we're talking about somebody that's not in the room for a long time. But, it, you know, everybody knows Mike for that. It's cool that he's made his own lane in, in content. He's known for girls and cheeseburgers. And it's funny, like, it used to just be oh, yo, where's Logan? Where's Logan? And now a lot of people will come up to him, especially like foreign guys. And they're like, oh, you are the guy who slayed the beast Lana Rhodes. It's like, <laughs> he, he, like he's known for that. It's, it's cool. Like, you know, that's, that's, that's his thing. So he, he's known for Logan or Lana Rhodes. Yeah. That's fucking, that's sick. Mm-hmm. Better, I think that's amazing. Better than our situations, mm-hmm. you know? You're the girl that didn't get the $50 million and I'm the guy that got hit by a crane. 60 million? (laughs) The guy guy that got hit by a crane. It was 60, but it was split with Barstool. Oh, damn. So So it wasn't that much. Yeah. You know? No, we're doing great. 30 million? No, yeah. I'd much rather rather be us (laughs) in this situation. A thousand percent. Okay. So can we talk about the crane incident? Yeah, also, but don't clip it and put it on TikTok because then I'm going to see all the comments. are going to be like, oh, he won't shut up about the crane, the crane, you so, know? I mean, story of my life. Like, I just left an interview where I had to talk about my situation for two hours straight. Yeah, and it's like, that's what the what, that's what they'll clip, and then it looks like that's all we're talking about. But that's what people want to know, you know, so. Well, I wasn't really, I was going to ask, like, deep questions that are actually interesting. I wasn't going to have you like relive it and recount the whole thing. Okay. Okay. P- people Let's can just Google that. Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole docu-series <laughs> on it. Just go watch that if you want to find out what, what exactly happened. But that's kind of watered down because we were still friends at the time. So I let him edit that, you know, which mm. was fucking stupid because 
So wait, there was a docu series that you guys made. You and yeah, David Dobrik. Yeah, well, once it happened, I was embarrassed that it happened. You know, so I was like, because it was a prank on yeah. me. You know, and I was like, I don't want it to just be like, you know, I'm at the height of my career on my own. Like the barbershop show was crushing. Everything was going great for me. And just, there was the pandemic. We had some free time. We're like, all right, fuck it. Let's go try this. End up going on this thing, thinking it's like nothing, nothing dangerous is going to happen. Yeah. The kid tries to fucking, you know, whip the thing around and it changes my life forever. So, um, yeah, I didn't want people to just have that and be like, oh, you wanted to do it. You're a fucking idiot. You know, like Tosh.0 videos or something, you know, mm. when somebody would end up on like ridiculousness or something yep. and you laugh at them getting really hurt, you know, cause it's funny to see, I guess, you know, it's funny to see people get hurt, you know, see, not, I've never not, been I don't in, think that, I but, don't think that humor is funny. I never have. Yeah. Also, I've always thought, is that per, like, are they okay? Are they dead? Yeah. Especially like uh, the random ones on the internet that you see. So I didn't want it to just be a random video that's out there and then you never see anything from me again. I wanted to tell the story where it makes, it makes everybody understand. And, um, then I kind of fucked that up by including the dumb ass that did it, you know, the dumb mm -hmm. child that's fucking still 19 in his head. Cause he stunted from the time he got a little clout. Um, okay. So you guys, you kind of tried to um, document what happened, but you included him. You have decided to press charges, right? No, 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 no. You no. haven't? No, 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 no. Um, like, uh, legal team, like legal attorney, charges? attorneys are freaking out. No, 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 no. It was more just like, take care of this shit. I need to make sure I'm covered for the damage for like oh. the, the shit I'm going to go through. And he needs to pay for your hospital bills. And yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. That's it. That's, that's a no. Very... It's not criminal charges. Okay. Yeah. I I kind of want to though. Then let's for not. being a fucking. <laughs> for being, I'm well, like, how can we sell that? But basically, I think that's super fair. And he tried to. He did not want to pay for anything. No, in the beginning it was all good, but then once it started, uh, like the truth started coming out a little bit more. Then he started trying to deflect the blame onto me. So that's what a lot of people have issues dealing with taking responsibility for their actions, Yeah, you know, and I'm living with it. You know, I'm already, I already got to deal with that shit. So, you know, for the kid to be like, oh, it was your idea and this shit. I'm like, are you fucking out of your mind? You're mm -hmm. going to put this on me now? Yeah. Because you can't take some hate comments. Yeah. So, you know, whatever it is, what it is. I, I feel like I'm actually the other day was three years Oh, on your birthday. It was, <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about it. Her yeah. birthday is my like uh, near death birthday. <laughs> yeah. So it's been three years. Yeah. Guys, you know. Jeff and Maddie uh, have really hit it off. They're, mm hmm. Wow. Yeah. My I missed those first 10 minutes of this episode. <laughs> now I'm getting drilled with the hard hitting questions. I missed what we were just talking about. No, no, like, no. I no, wasn't no, even uh, planning on getting that deep into it. I'm just you, fucking you around. Ask me whatever you want. My whole uh, situation incident, it's been three years too. Are you pressing criminal charges? Um, I thought about doing that. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Hello. There's like a lot of money involved. Yeah, yeah. I decided not to because it was just going to be like, hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal fees and it was just gonna be like a whole mess mm -hmm. just yeah. handle it on the streets i thought about doing that too so david uh i don't know if these are your words but some people have said he is a narcissist and a sociopath well yeah i feel like you have to be to be a youtuber <laughs> But he just takes it a little, a little, uh, a lot further, you yeah. know, but yeah, that's kind of like, you know, I was joking when I said that, but it kind of does come with it. It is easy to get lost in this shit. Like you make videos on your phone, you post them online, you make whatever, like you're posting yourself online then people know you. And then you, you believe that you're this big fucking superstar. Yeah. But really... I think why people like you is because you, you're like one of them. They can relate to you. You know, like I, I feel like you have that in you too. You're like still very real. You know? I'm very, very real. Mm -hmm. But I think those people already thought they were, they already had like delusions of grandeur before they like started. Playing. Oh yeah. Cause think about it. 
like, how are you thrown into it? You started with Vine, right? No, not really. Um, no? So I started with cutting hair. I was a barber right. early on. I, like 14, 15 years old, I started working full time in a barber shop in my neighborhood in Staten Island. And then around 18, I decided to move to Miami to work in a shop there. And that's when like social media was starting out. And I kind of rode that wave of like cutting celebrities hair and like making content around that and like getting like a little like barber clout, you know, yeah. like I was getting my name out there and then I would get, I would be getting hired for different jobs and like doing cool shit and flying around. And I always sold weed too, along with cutting hair. Cause as your, your barber, you know, now weed's Does legal everywhere. Come with the job Barber shops is where you could get everything. Like, you know, you want some fucking fake Jordans. You want a bootleg movie. You remember when they would film in the movie theater with the heads oh, and yes, like if yes. you, any of that shit, you get a barber shop. So I just like got thrown into that. And then when I moved to LA, it was like, oh, okay, we could buy weed for cheap here. And then if we sell it in New York, we'll make a lot of money. So that's oh. why I went to LA initially. And when I was living out there, I met like the building I lived at, I met all these other viners and stuff. I like saw King Batch riding the hoverboard around in the, in the hallway. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck is he doing? Like, and then I see him shooting a Verizon deal or some shit. And then I was like, oh, okay, you can make money doing this but I need to decide which one I'm going to do because you can't do both, you know. You can't sell weed and be like a public persona. And you can't do illegal hair. shit and yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and be putting you yourself out there. You can't sell drugs online. and, you know. And also a lot of my stories in life, if I'm going to open up and like really go in for this, I need to be completely transparent with my audience, I feel like so I, I just need to be honest and real. And I don't know, I just, uh, I got sick of telling lies and hiding shit. Cause then you have to remember all your lies that you tell. <sighs> yeah. So I just don't lie, you know, ever. You don't lie ever. Never. Nope. Never, ever, ever, no, ever. No. You have a huge smile on your face. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure I lie, but not like about anything that, you know, anything Matters. significant. Yeah. Like yeah. a white lie, of course. Yeah. yeah. Lies that like would, I don't. Ha I'm not going to London. <laughs> I'm, 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 uh, I just want to get the fuck out of here. No, no, I'm kidding. I do have to. I mean, Twenty. We're minutes. changing your flight. No, we can't. I love how you're like throwing this. It's international shit on there. Like big shot, big know. time stuff. Going out there to hang out with Logan Paul. That's right. Is that really who you're going to meet? Yeah, well, I'm with Mike, and we're gonna do an episode of Impulsive there, and he's, Logan's got to wrestle somebody or some shit, you know. Is this a for real thing? Yeah, I told you I never lie. Of course. Okay, so are you replacing George? I wouldn't say that. No, George was, uh, they He's parted ways. And George is irreplaceable. That's good. I'll run with that one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not doing it full time. I have my own show. I have multiple shows. I have too many of my own shows that I cannot jump into another show full time. It's just easy when you go on to like a show with, like You're Logan has so much friends. going on and then Mike just talks and talks and talks. So I could just show up and feel miserable and I don't have to do shit. That's so true. Even when I recorded with Mike, I, I was like, can I get a word in? Yeah. And I think like when it comes to friends, when it comes to guys, no. Okay. Well, whatever <laughs> you say. Um, but yeah, Michael just be like, yo, Logan, tell us about that wrestling match, you know? And I'll just like kick back and be like, Mike, you're a dick rider. And then, you know, I was just, that's my input. Okay. I heard that you were a dick rider. Of who? Who of, am I dick riding? Of Logan riding? and Mike. No. Just, I'm not dick I heard it like one person told me. Who? What is her name? Just, they might be in this room, but they said it was a joke, but they said that you might. You said that? I dick ride them? <laughs> Why can't I have nice male friends that are in the same business as me and have this have similar interests? I'm out here filming big shows, showing up the set, hair and makeup, you know, number one on the call sheet, leading man. I feel like Mark Wahlberg. I'm waking up at 4 a.m. working out before set. Have you seen Mark Wahlberg's Instagram? I have not. You should look into it. It's is hilarious. Is he doing cold plunges? I'm sure he is, but just the way he talks, like he's... 19 years old. Uh-huh. It's so funny to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but. I could see him being your idol. One of. No. I, he's Yeah, he's he's just interesting to me, you know. Mm -hmm. I feel like we have a lot of similarities, but no, he's not my idol, Mark Wahlberg. Um, <laughs> I like the like the life he's built for himself. Yeah. You but if you, who would you say your idol is? Well, actually, you know what? Mark Wahlberg, yeah. He's, yeah, he's a little older now, but you know Entourage was built around 
him. Yes, I did know that. I also know he's trying to like move the entire entertainment industry to Vegas. No. Yes. He lives there. Does he? Mm-hmm. And he's trying to take everyone there with him. Why? Why Vegas? I don't know. Tax purposes? I'm not sure. You know two people kill themselves a day in Vegas? Jump off the buildings? Every Stop. single day. Yeah, statistics. It, I asked Every- Hannah. I asked Hannah and she's from Vegas, so it's true. <laughs> we also Google searched it. Two people a day. So good luck, Marky Mark. It's mm-hmm. going to be people dropping onto your set. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? I actually did not laugh at that. I was laughing at something else, but um, you, (laughs) okay. So you have been here filming the show. Yeah. That takes place in a barber shop. Yeah. yeah. And when we were texting prior to this, I got it confused with the show on HBO called The Shop. Yeah, it was funny how you were like, oh, I love that show, LeBron James's HBO show or something. And I was like, no, <laughs> fuck no, they're the ops. I hate that show. Yeah, you said that show is shit. Yeah, because I actually cut hair. I have like a different niche that, you know, gave me a little different, because it's an interview show and I'm cutting the person's hair. They're all nervous and stuff. LeBron James ain't cutting the hair. He no. don't fucking know what he's doing with that. He just hangs out in the shop and gets a haircut himself. You know? Yeah. That's lazy content. Well, with the hair that he has, which isn't that much, is what I've See, heard. Now we're I talking. don't know. I like that. Slander that show. <laughs> Fuck them. That's true. That takes way more talent. You you actually have to cut someone's hair mm-hmm. while you're interviewing them. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever gotten like so into the interview that you like, like you just like chop their hair off? No, and like, no, no, no. Fuck. So- Sometimes I'll get quiet because I'm too focused on the haircut. And that's why I have a co-host to lean on and he takes over. Oh, but okay. He's a little nutty. One, like on a recent episode, he started drinking and he he pissed in his own mouth. And like mid episode, he just Wait. started doing it to, <laughs> to freak the guest out. You know, he like pissed in his own yeah, mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just a character. He's like, he's just such a silly fucking, uh, yeah, he's, his face over there is priceless. When you, I'm sorry. I'll send you the clip. He I'll, grabbed his penis and yeah. then he tilted it. Yeah, towards Steven. His shout mouth. out to Steven. But he just does things like this. But he's so shy and awkward that when he does something so crazy like that, it's just so funny because, like, what the fuck, Steven? Like, we never expected you to do that. <laughs> We never expect you to hurry and whip your <laughs> dick out and take a piss in your yeah. own mouth. Yeah, while but there it was were cameras a cameras rolling. It, it was a male guest, so it wasn't like anything weird, you yeah. know. Are you into that whole thing? Like, would you want? Do you want to pee in a girl's mouth or have her no, pee on no, your no, chest? No, no, I, I didn't think of it. I didn't tell him to do it. I'm just there cutting the hair. You just said, "Do you ever like get too into? You, do you mess up when you're asking the questions?" I was, I'm, <laughs> I was saying, "No, I actually focus." But sometimes other people do wacky shit. But no. I have never really messed up a haircut. I've always kind of known how to do it. Maybe there were some that, you know, like the first one of the day is usually not like the best, best, but it's, oh, that's it takes actually, you a little time to get warmed up. Yeah. That's really good to know. So don't, if you're going to get your haircut, do not be the first person in the barbershop. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do it. So you're from Utah. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's my, that's my least favorite place. Yeah. It's beautiful, but that's where my head got cracked open. Where were you guys? Um, Provo. Oof. Provo's the worst place on planet Earth. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. really sorry to hear that. But it's nice when I go back. Like, well, no, it's not nice. I, I, get, I get saying, my eyes have you even open been back? and they stitch it closed. I can't even see the scenery. <laughs> I, okay. Have you been back since? Because I highly yeah, nine, doubt it. N- nine times. Nine I, that's times? That's right. I, I, I get my surgeries there because the same doctor that did my initial surgery that like saved my life, he put in all these screws and stuff. And like, because he took me apart and put me back together, I want him to be the guy that operates on me every time. Yeah. Even though I'm in LA and there's like the best doctors and plastic surgeons and optometrists and neuro neuro optometrists, I could basically be a fucking doctor at this point with all the surgeries that I had. So, um, yeah, I just go to him, but I think I'm going to stay in LA on the next surgery. I think the doctors in Utah are incredible. Yeah. They yeah. really are. Yeah, there's a lot of cool shit to do in Utah too. You know, my doctor, he 
it, like he goes on these crazy hikes. He swims in those lakes and he does, <laughs> he hunts. He goes and finds like wild animals. Yeah. If mountain you're, lions. If you're outdoorsy, mm -hmm. then you like it there. Yeah. And there's a lot of extreme sports accidents there because of all that. So that's why I kind of lucked out that I had like this crazy accident because he was there and he's good at um, fixing people up. Yeah. He found, uh, he told me not to tell this story and I always tell it, but he, <laughs> he was the guy that found Biggie when they brought Biggie, he got, cause he was at UCLA and Biggie got shot in LA. And when they brought him to the hospital, they brought him to the wrong place. They brought him to like the place where they get like checkups or whatever. And they were like, bro, you just got shot. She shot up. You need to take him to like the back place. And he brought him around and he did that. And your doctor took care of him? My doctor's the one who found him and told him that. Yeah. Crazy. You're from Staten Island. Mm -hmm. Is that like a cool thing to flex here in New York? No. Why? Why? I kind of asked that, like not facetiously, but I remember I was dating this guy from Long Island and I asked him if that was the same as Staten Island. And his response was, oh, absolutely not. The fuck? It'd be lamer to be from <laughs> Long Island. I don't think it's cool. I, I used to... People usually make fun of you if you're like, I'm from Staten Island. They're like, oh, that ain't New York. Like, mm. What the fuck is one of the five boroughs? But what I don't really care. You know, yeah. like it is whatever. I'm I'm happy the way I was raised. I wouldn't change it. Um, but, you know, I, I'm not going to live there again. Now my family's there. It's nice. I get to go back and visit. But. Yeah. Were you friends with Pete Davidson? Did you ever sell him drugs when you first got started? No. Pete was... A little younger than me, and I think he went to Tottenville. So, how old is Pete Davidson? Do you know? I think like, he's around my age, thirty. Okay, I'm thirty three. So, yeah, that's like now it's not a big difference, but back when you're in high school, like okay. me being eighteen, I'm gonna hang out with a fourteen year old. Yeah, you know? absolutely no, not. not happening. No. So you weren't BFFs with him or anything? No, no, no. no. Is that what the cool part <laughs> of Staten Island is? Because he put it on the map. Fuck. You know, I used to be me. I used to be the guy from Staten Island that made it out, you know? But yeah. then he just surpassed me. And like, then I was like, oh, fuck, he surpassed me. And then it just went crazier and crazier. And I'm like, now I'm like, all right, I'm a fan now. You know, with what you've done, I'm proud of you, man. Yeah. He's done, he's done some really great shit. Yeah. He's come far. Oh, yeah. Which Staten Island is a great place. I mean, I've never been, but it seems like it's an... Actually, I stopped there once to get Starbucks, and it was kind of fucking crazy. What do you mean crazy? It was uh, just the people there were just... There was nothing wrong with them. They were just like a little bit like quirky. They make up their own accent, kind of. What is that accent? It's just like real lazy, like... You the they make they it coffee up. Coffee and coffee and like, <laughs> you know, water. So they're not born with it. People in Staten Island. Make I think up. it's happened over time. It's like, you know, evolved, but it's like only, it's like a New York accent, but you know how Boston has like their own type of accent, yes, yes. like East Coast accent. I feel like Staten Island people do that too. Like I could tell when somebody's from Staten Island, especially a, when a girl starts talking and she's from Staten Island. I'm like, Ugh. You don't like it? I Not, think there's an accent people from Long Island, like my ex, for sure. Yeah? Yeah. Was he the guy that was flexing and, and said that Staten Island was whack? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he didn't say it was whack. He was just like, did yeah, well, not offended want by, me. Yeah. Yeah. But or also whatever. Long Island, it's like a Long Island iced tea, trashiest drink you can order. Yeah. And that's all I knew about Long Island. Yeah. Because I'm from fucking Utah. And how long have you been here? I feel uh, like I'm interviewing you on your own show. No, I should no, have done more no, research. No. But. I've been here for five years, but I did a two-year hiatus in Utah when all the shit went down. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So I've been back for like a year. So you went and you were grounded back home with yes. family and then you came back and now you're ready to take on the take world. Take over the world. I like you that. You and I. That's really cool. I really Thank do relate you. to you because I took some time off too. Mine was different. I was because I my eyes were stitched closed, but you know I. I Mine were too, but like, <laughs> but like metaphorically. Yeah, yeah, you know I, know, what I, mean? I know what you're saying. Yeah, like not like physically, but like I felt yeah. blind. Do you at that time? Are you happy that you did that, or do you regret taking time off? Do you feel like it crushed some of your momentum? I really didn't take time off. I took maybe two months off, but I launched the show out of my mom's basement. Oh, nice. Yeah. Who was your first guest? 
myself. Though I was going to say, uh, I was hoping that you did that. Yeah. Thank you. It's your show. You know, the people come to see you. Mm-hmm. They do. And I'm really excited to go on your show. We're going to do one question before I let you go. Well, and then we're going to do a part two, but we're going to do a fuck, Mary kill. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Real original. Nice no, one. It's, uh, well, let's see who the, the options are. Okay. Adolf Hitler, Osama bin Laden, David Dobrik. Oh, oh man, that's good. Damn. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm going to have to go with. <laughs> fuck. This is so hard. Who are you having sex with? Probably Osama bin Laden, to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to fuck Hitler. And I'm gonna kill. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Because I actually I don't know. I don't want that to be used against me. No, no, no. Um, I'll fucking marry David then, and yep. take him down to hell with me. That's and yeah. Uh, I'll kill Osama because he tried to kill my mom in 9/11. She was in the World Trade Center. So I, I'll kill him mm-hmm. and I'll fuck Hitler. Don't you're, you're sound gonna, like that. You're gonna Anybody, have sex don't with- click that. <laughs> You're going to have sex with Hitler. I was thinking about it in terms of how many lives could be saved by killing Hitler. Ooh. But then also Osama bin Laden because he was behind that whole thing. And also David Dobrik because he's ruined a lot of people's lives. Yeah. So that's a tough one. Someone asked me this question. About the same three people? Not the same three people. It was Dave Portnoy was kind of like my David Dobrik. Yeah. And I said I would marry him so I could make every day of his life a living hell, you know? Yeah. But like okay. I, I don't, I have no ill will towards anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's That's what I, what I was thinking too, you know? Yeah. That is crazy that like marrying somebody, you can really fuck their lives up. Every day. Every single day. Are you going to get married? Do you look, do you hope to get married? Yeah, I do. I didn't want to for a while. Do you think you would slow down this stuff if you were to get married? Because you can't be talking about like dating life and stuff. I think I would, honestly, I don't think I would change. You think you would get married to Mike? Absolutely fucking not. Why not? Because he would cheat. He doesn't want kids. He's already lying saying I'm trying to suck his dick publicly. Well, we went and did the research. He said that he, you want to date him. I just wanted to be respectful of his new relationship, but I guess that means I want to Does fuck he have him. a girlfriend? Yeah, that's what you're asking him, huh? Oh my God. Does that, so that you really- You want to know so bad no, you can't God. stop asking it. <laughs> um, um, okay, Jeff, this was really fun. Thank you. It was. I, had, I wish I had more time. I don't even know what. I mean, I think we should switch oh, your flights Oh, fuck, Mike's still. blowing me up. Mike's stressing. He's like an old grandma. Mike is stressing? Yeah. Yeah. Tell him to fucking relax. Okay, He's Jeff. one of those guys that gets to the airport like six hours before their flight, Mike. He, he Well, yeah, he's 40. That's what they start mm-hmm. doing. Yeah, 40-year-old white man. Yeah. It's 9 a.m. We got to get to the airport. Okay, Jeff, I'm going to let you go. Where Everyone, go listen to Jeff on Jeff FM and then... You're pretty yep. fucking big on YouTube. She'll be on. She'll be on soon. And I will be on soon. Thank you so much. Hired, and you're hired. And you're hired. Woo! Building my own crew. Beautiful. This was fun. I wish I could stay longer. Beautiful.